Well, I want to thank you for giving me the chance to present our awards tonight. I'm Jackie Sherman. I'm the girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I forgot my notes. <laughs> okay. Um, if you will stand with us, we have the pledges to the flag we're going to start off with, and we have a video to run with it, in case you forget the words.
Five-fold purpose of the girls' ministries is to win girls to Jesus Christ through love and acceptance, to teach them to obey everything Jesus commanded us, developing girls spiritually and mentally, to provide encouragement, support, and accountability through lasting Christian relationships, to provide an environment for the girls to develop their gifts and abilities, and to acquaint them with the great commission of Jesus Christ our Lord. I have a wonderful group of ladies who support me in everything I do, and they just give and they give and they give, and I appreciate them so much. We would like Fiat to help us too. We always need your prayers. We need helpers in other classes. Three of my classes right now only have one teacher in it, and we need a helper in it. And then if you would like to help in other ways, we have review boards where they have to sit down and help me do tests for the girls. We also, each one of the teachers each week comes up with a craft and a snack, and usually that's out of their own pocket. So parents, if you would like to volunteer to bring a snack one time and get with your teachers, they would really appreciate it. If you would like to come up here and do a craft with one of the classes, get with the teacher and she would really appreciate it. <laughs> um, I've got a little promo video back there. If you'll show it, please. It'll give you an idea of some of the, around the, the nation, the way it works in other churches. Girls are facing a lot of things today, big things and things that they've never faced before. Kids just respond to feeling special, feeling loved, feeling like they are important when they walk into that room. Girls in Ministries provided a safe place for me to belong, to really learn to be myself and to be mentored by women of God. The topics that are there are life relevant, things that you need to discuss with your girls. Some of the girls, their parents wouldn't have the um, opportunity or they wouldn't have the Christian view. You get to invest in their lives little by little. You might not see it then, but later on as they're older, you see the great things that God has done in their life, and you have a part of that. You have a part of the work that they do in the ministry that they have because of what you've invested in them. We're supposed to grow in what God has given us, and I really like how it teaches you and it shows you where in the Bible, like God, how He has been in your heart and He wants you to prosper from it. The curriculum is great because it really provides that framework for you to use it and make it flexible to use in your church to fit the personality of your girls and you as a leader. It's been amazing to see how the girls come to class. As soon as they walk in, they're screaming out their memory verses. And seeing them do that, it shows me how much they want to learn. When you see the light in their eyes when they come into the room, they're just excited to be there. It's great to see the oh, spirit of Jesus in their lives because here they are, they come into the room, they're excited about being in church, they're excited about being in rainbows, and it's uh, something that I think will carry on with them after they leave Rainbow is that they enjoy church, if they love rainbows, they love church, they want to be there, it's a great experience for them. For a lot of people, we, we often think that little children, they don't know anything because they're so immature and they, they don't have not a lot of knowledge, but when we do teach them, it's, I'm, often I'm surprised because they remember the things that they've learned. We realized that all, all the kids needed role models. Uh, we had so many kids that were just looking for direction in their life, even at a young age, and we just wanted to be there for them. And it was a, a real rewarding experience to just speak Jesus into their lives and not only speak it, but live it in front of them. As a leader, I work with girls on a regular basis, and there really is no better way to help girls reach their world for Christ then just to mentor them, to build a relationship with them. And one of the best ways to do that is to use the Friends and Girls Only curriculum. It provides a great framework for mentorship uh, to help you build relationships and disciple the girls that you work with. We um, talk about life and we talk about um, God's plan for us and each lesson is different and it always like helps with us what we're struggling with. I decided to get involved in girls' ministries even as a college student because I decided to make it a priority in my life. I decided to take the time from classes and my work schedule to pour into other girls' lives because girls' ministries have such a huge impact in my life growing up. When you're biblically based, you can't go wrong. If you do what the Bible says, you use that for your base, you use it for your training ground, then um, you're, you're in a winning situation. 
really just watching over and over the girls whose lives are touched and to think to, to encourage the sponsors and the mentors that you know that rambunctious little you know daisy or rainbow that you have could be a, is a future leader you know they have the potential to do anything to change the kingdom
and Brody Moreland, you're our two badges. Let's go. Okay, here's another one breaking my heart. William Pat is going to be promoted to Rangers this year.
I think I get dizzy, but once you get this down, it's it's just immune to you. So, uh, <laughs> well, we are the Daisies, and um, our motto is um, we shine the light of Jesus to people. And um, I only, unfortunately, get them for one year. I get them just for kindergarten. And in that year, they have to earn at least nine badges. And if you can count, they have earned 10. They have memorized all of their memory verses. They have memorized the motto, the pledge. And um, they are so smart and so full of, they are hungry for knowledge, they're hungry for God. And um, that's why we ended up doing 10 badges. They didn't want a free day. They said, let's do another badge. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so there we are. Um, we did our badges. Some of the badges that we did are the creating badge, the following badge, the thanking badge, the sharing badge, the giving badge, praying, healing, forgiving, helping, and growing. So we have Addison. Moreland here. Come on down. And she is not only earning 10 badges, but she is a honor daisy. And she is being promoted to Prince, unfortunately. Next we have Emma. Emma, again, has earned 10 badges. Um, Addison has done really good. She is just so smart, and she loves to just learn. And um, I'm really proud of Emma because Emma was not here during the entire, um, I guess you want to call it, semester of daisies. So she had a lot of catching up to do, and she was very eager to. And she did. So she earned her 10 badges. She is an honor daisy. Unfortunately, are going to Prince. <laughs> I just want to thank the parents for just being supportive and for just being that example to your children to always be at church and because um, they thrive because of you guys. So um, I thank you very much for that. And um, Shannon, we just um, want to thank you, Miss Jackie, for being such an awesome coordinator. We love you. She is probably the best coordinator we have ever, ever, that we could ever have, ever, ever. And we love you. We love you very much. So thank you again. The next group that will come up are the Prince. Prince, you want to start coming on up? They are first and second graders. Their names are Shannon Bowling and Nicole Larson. Shannon has earned, a, she has been a leader. We've got a certificate here for recognition of four years of service. <laughs> and Nicole has done three years of service.
These are our friends, first and second grade girls, and our class motto is friends are kind and thoughtful, and that's just what these girls are, and they bring such joy to our hearts every Wednesday. Um, in, our, in our class, it's a two-year class, and this year we, we did the badges, salvation, animals, community, health, cooking, kindness, friendship, plants, and helpers. These girls are awesome helpers. Jaxman has earned eight badges. Jaxman. And she's going to stars. Good job, Jaxman. And then we have Cheyenne. She's earned three badges, and she's going to We have Elena. She's earned two badges. And Kirsty, she's earned six badges. She's going to stars, too. Diana has been seven badges. <laughs> Madeline has earned five badges. <laughs> All right, and that is us. <laughs> Thank you. Stars, <laughs> will you come up here?
two answers, two scripture verses. Um, some of them, one of them, the introduction to our church, they have to memorize the statement of truth of the assemblies of God, which if you know it's 16 fundamentals of truth they have to memorize. For the Bible one, they have to memorize all 66 books of the Bible. For life of Christ, they have to put the um, main events of Jesus Christ in, in order and find them in all four Gospels. So they do a lot of work to earn the honor steps. This year they studied the life of Christ, introduction to missions, fitness, armor of God, end time events, Africa, camping, fruit of the spirit, Bible survey, in his image, and music. Annabeth Branch has earned one badge. She has just started coming with us. Marissa Cottrell has earned two badges. Marissa Diaz has earned one badge. Nina Elliott has earned eight badges. Kaylin Kilpatrick has earned six badges. Victoria King has earned three badges. been promoted to friends, um, and she also has earned six badges. <laughs> and Madison gets a certificate of participation. Right? <laughs> okay, the next group we have has had some ups and downs this year. <laughs> we, um, and it's Kim Moss, and she's not feeling like coming on stage, but she needs to come get your certificate for one year of service. <laughs> this is for friends. They are middle school girls. They meet on Thursday night. Um, Some of the things is club studies. I want you girls to want to come. This is some of the stuff they talk about. They talk about accountability. They have a unit on friends. They have a unit called battle stations. They have one called commitment to Christ. Peer pressure. They study the Holy Spirit. <coughs> so they do a lot of stuff. And these are discussion-based groups where they meet. And Miss Kim is wonderful with crafts. And she just loves on the girls. So if you are that age and you want to come up here on Thursday nights, we would love to have you. And if you need a ride, get with us. We'll see what we can do. The next group is Girls Only. Sherry Joseph is the leader. You want to come up? I'd like to thank Sherry for three years of service. Ariana. 
She is also a member, but she is not here. But so these are my girls again. If you want to come in on Thursday night, you're in high school, you want to just come eat snacks, develop really close relationships with one another, and hold each other accountable, then we meet at 6:30. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Christine, you want to come up, Pastor? We're going to start the honor star crowning part right now. Tonight we're going to recognize Emily Sutherland. We'll let her come forward. She has earned 27 badges. She is an honor star. Her favorite unit was the Holy Spirit. She goes to Holly Navarro Middle School. Her favorite subject is history. Her favorite color is pink and white and anything with bling. <laughs> and she wants to be a hairdresser when she grows up. In Stars Club, you have been taught and trained in Christian principles and doctrine. May the scriptures you have memorized give you a strong foundation and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, unmovable and unchangeable, regardless of what comes your way. You have great choices ahead of you. Always consider what Jesus would have you do and follow his leading. I charge you to stand firm as an honor star, keeping your eyes on Jesus and to remember your pledge. Jesus has a special purpose and plan for your life, and he will never fail you. Keep your eyes on him and your hand in his, and walk close to the Lord. Well, I will follow Jesus. Make commitment to follow Jesus, direct your every step. back there. Everybody stand to your feet if you don't mind. Who's got a really good camera? Anybody have a good camera? Okay, let's try this. Let's get all the kids to come up, stand up here with me and face this way. All the kids come up here, even the girls only. Okay, come stand next to me. Stand, stand up here facing this way. Okay, come on up. Come on up. We're going to get a picture. Hey, Julie. Come up here too, let's get a picture. Okay, you ready to smile?
All right, here's what we're going to do. Stay where you're at. We're going to pray over the meal. And we've got a, we have a big cake in the back, and we're going to have a great little party. Are you ready to eat something tonight? I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. I know that uh, maybe this might not have been for you. You might not have had some kids up here, but uh, I'm really glad you came. It, re it really means a lot to the kids, to the girls, and the boys. Amen? Okay, you ready to pray? Bow your heads, shut your eyes. Lord, we do love you tonight. We just thank you for these young girls who work so hard, who are very faithful to come every Wednesday night. We just thank you, and we just pray that you bless them for doing that. Bless their lives and their families. May their parents see their witness and their testimony. And Lord, we just pray that you bless our fellowship tonight. Bless the food to our bodies and the coffee. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. God bless you.